hi so today is a sunday and i am flying tomorrow's night and i am packing i have been packing and i have been planning i am a planner i do have a google sheet of what i'm wearing so i can see it from my laptop my phone or my ipad i kind of put every outfit for every single day so when i pack i'll pack them by looks instead of like tops bottoms whatnot but i do have some like organizers so i'll be using them and you'll see bits of it and i hope you enjoy this vlog and yeah for reference this is what i do i do this for every trip i even have like a schedule and i have like a restaurant page in case i don't remember where it is or i didn't save it in my google maps i have like the restaurant name where it is and the link to the website just in case i have an expense page i have everything here and this is just like my plan for japan i am so excited for this trip because i haven't been to japan since 20 2016 or 7 20, 2017 it's been a long while and this is also my first long trip with my boyfriend so hopefully everything works out i hope you enjoy this video So today we are flying out from Bangkok to Tokyo Narita Airport via Zip Air. This is a low cost airline. This is the first time me trying the Zip Air and we tried the full fat bed which is really nice. You can really lie flat. However, there are no pillows, blankets, whatnot like a normal business class. This one is basically you're on a low cost flight but you just get the full flat bed which is really nice and you get a full rest at night before traveling. Finally, we're here. Just now someone didn't let me push the, truck, uh, the luggage. Because I'm supposed to be like, be a tough when, are you gonna, when are you gonna push the luggage? And she's just holding on to it. <laughs> Woman. Men never understand women. <laughs> We are finally in Tokyo and we are on our way to Muji Hotel to check in. We are here in Muji for one night and then we will be going to Osaka tomorrow. This way? Great weather though. Look! Look mom, I'm in the sun! <laughs> He's wearing summer, I'm wearing winter. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to our first lunch, we know we had to line up for this so we are getting some snacks from Family Mart and this is Suji Han Seitaku Don which is a don with sashimi, uni on top, toro. This place is just so amazing. We had to have an hour wait and it was worth it. If this is really hyped but I think it is really really good this place is so hyped on social media but I think it is worth the wait there is a few branches so maybe check out the lesser crowded branches and after you eat everything they add the soup to your rice and it's just so amazing and so rich After our lunch, we walked around Ginza, we went to a few shoe shops and also visited Hermes. Hermes in Ginza is so pretty, they have so many floors, I ended up not getting anything. And also we just walked around the mall and it was really a pretty mall. Back to Muji Hotel, we checked in, got our stuff in. Here's a room tour of a Type H in Muji Hotel and it is just really clean, minimal.
for dinner of our first night, this place is called Yoroniku. This one is basically a tasting menu of yakiniku with different cuts of beef. And I would have to say this is by far the best meal I've honestly ever had in my life with tasting menu. Every dish is cooked differently with different cuts of beef and it has a different taste to it. Everything is so thought through and it is just so amazing with each bite you take. I highly, highly recommend this restaurant. It is called Yoroniku and we had our chef Tomo. He is also amazing and he gave us recommendations for other restaurants as well and you cannot miss this place. They have a full course and you will just enjoy every single dish at this place. here in sunny Tokyo and I want to try this pancake in maple syrup from 7-eleven maybe you want to try so apparently this youtuber that I watch she says there's maple syrup inside here so I need to try it mmm Mm. I think the outside doesn't have maple syrup yet, but in the middle. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, if you can see, it's like the outside has butter, but in the middle, it has maple syrup. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mmm. It's like maple syrup jelly. Mm. And we're here at Muji and they have some green tea which is very very good. Our room is a type H. I will insert a room tour. But this is just like the bed and then there's like a table here. And then behind the camera, there is a couch that is very messy. And then <laughs> the bathroom is on the right and the exit and i'm gonna show you some snacks that i got as well these are my two favorites kalbi fries this one is mentaigo flavor and this one is butter these are like the best and then i got these bits as well and also this matcha moji i will definitely try and tell you whether it's good or not I have a working table window with normal view and here's the couch where I have all my stuff and then our luggages are all over there which we're not going to show because it's very messy Muji has snacks for you and then this is the list of the amenities that they will only give for free the rest you have to buy Today's comfy look, I'm wearing my own t-shirt and pants this is a very baggy pants and a suede trench coat for comfiness when I'm going on the train. We are going on the Shinkansen to Osaka. Thank God we have manpower right here so we can walk comfortably. <laughs> bathroom and mirror some hangers and shower right here pretty efficient after checking in we make our way to food again we got this restaurant recommended by tomo from our previous dinner and of course we believe him so we are on our way to this sukimen ramen place and oh my god the noodle here it is so chewy the soup is so good and a little bit salty but i love salty and the noodle is just amazing after food we just shopped around walked around and made our way to the street that everybody walks on and that's just it for the night Oh my god. 
Today is the end of Osaka Universal Day. It is our second day in Osaka and we spent a whole day at Universal's since 9 and we left at 6 and now I'm having my yogurt drink and some snacks but now it's like around 7.30 and on the way back I got something so let me drink a little. Mm. This is really good. This is peach yogurt drink and it has some jelly in it. Mm. I also got some snacks to try. Mm. This is the matcha chocolate ganache mochi. And the inside looks like this. Oh my god. It's very like whimsy. also got this chocolate right here. I mean, I see that there's something inside like Maltesers. I'm not sure. But let's try it. Mm. And it looks like there's like truffle in it. like a less sweet, a less sweet version of Maltesers. Because Maltesers, when you eat a few, you get, you know, a little bit sore throat already. This one, I don't really feel like the salty truffle, but definitely a less sweet version of Maltesers. But so far, so good. So of course, when we got off the train, there was an Hermes store, so I couldn't resist but, you know, to go in and check out if there's anything I wanted. Like the things are in my list and Oh my god, I got I got a huge bag, but it's not a bag. Let me get the box out. Ta-da! Here it is. I got a huge, huge thing in here. Let's unbox together since we're here. So let's get into it. Let me just take all the O out because it's so big. The lid, that's out. And... I got this card. I got this at Hilton Plaza from the store because I walked past it. And as you could probably guess it, it's some boots. So here it is. Ta-da! I got the jumping boots with the Kelly buckle on here. And I've been trying to find everywhere especially in my size like 37 38 is like a very common size for women so here it is and you can turn this around like this one you can wear it in the front you can wear it on the outside of the shoe i cannot wait to wear it i wear this in a size 38 and my Auron is 37 if you've seen my other hauls. So this is it for tonight. And then tomorrow we are going to stay at an onsen near Mount Fuji. So see you in the next few hours. On the train back to Tokyo, I got this self-heating Ibiken, which is so amazing. And we get the car that we are going to rent to drive to Ubuya, which is an onsen hotel where we're staying at. But on our way, we are stopping by at this supermarket, which is huge. And this is my first time experiencing a Japanese supermarket that's not in the city. And everything looks so fresh, so good. I got a lot of snacks and fruits. And here we are at Ubuya 
Ikea Hotel which is an onsen and I can't really film inside the onsen but the onsen is so calming and you can see the view however the day that we are here it is very cloudy so we can't see much of Mount Fuji but still the view is amazing Here's also a private onsen inside our room and you also have this amazing view and the Mount Fuji is supposed to be there but because it's so cloudy and now we also have dinner, breakfast and lunch that we had at the hotel which was so amazing. Every dish is so thought through. And then we visited the Yakisaki Park which is close to the hotel. This park as well is so nice. The wind, the oxygen, just nature. Everything is just so calm and soothing and it's a very nice park to just chill, relax, and walk around with your family, friends, or boyfriend. As we are heading back to Tokyo, we saw the tip of Mount Fuji, which is really big and beautiful, and at least we get to see a little bit of it, which is just enough for this ride. We're back in Tokyo and we're checked into the Tokyo Edition Hotel which is so pretty. I love, love, love the design of this hotel. It's minimal, it's pretty and we have the view of the Tokyo Tower. Tokyo day three. First, we head straight to the restaurant. Again, this is Imahan in Ginza. We have our first beef sukiyaki of this trip. Sukiyaki is actually one of my favorite meal. That's how I name my dog after sukiyaki. And this beef is cooked to perfection. He cooks right in front of us. So this is in our room. We get a private room. Everybody gets a private room and I highly recommend to make reservations in advance. And after he cooked the beef, we eat the beef with egg and rice and it is just so chewy, soft and also melting at the same time. Here's the entire set with the beef and veggies and with this beef in the egg it is just so good after everything is done he cooks this egg oh it is so good it's salty it's not cooked all the way through and it's melting and you eat this with rice After walking around Harajuku, we went to dinner at Sukiji Yaki Ishikawa, which is so amazing. This poro, uni, and ikura, it blend together so well. This is one of the courses. And then we went straight to Team Labs Tokyo because we booked the last slot because we wanted to just go at night. However, the last slot, you can't really finish every room because they are rushing you a little bit. But at least we had fun. We took some photos. We had a good time. Every room is pretty creative, but I would say the water thing is not very hygienic and you know disgusting feet honestly like everybody has their shoes off and we went into the same water in the first room so it is pretty disgusting but other than that it is very creative it's very pretty and i highly recommend you to visit team labs Garden in an aircon room. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. 
Tokyo day four. This is our first sushi omakase lunch of this trip, and we are eating at Sushi Su, which was recommended by our hotel. The chef was really nice, and all the fish was fresh. Every sushi was delicious. However, everything was quite slow because the chef was the only one cooking, and there was like ten of us, so everything took like two hours and a half. After that, we just had a chill day, walked around Roppongi, and just chill at the hotel. For our last dinner, we had dinner at Asabu Katowaki, which is a tasting menu again, but here it is pretty fusion for a Japanese tasting menu. This truffle rice pot is the most amazing truffle rice pot I've ever had, and every dish was pretty good. But I think an overall we weren't that. Full. Like they could have been more food, or the portion could have been bigger. But all in all, everything tastes amazing. The next morning, we went to Sukiji Fish Market, and of course, we first line up of the restaurant Uni Tora Kuro Nakadori Ten. And I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but oh my god, this took like an hour for us to wait. But it is also a bar. We really want to sit at the bar to see the chef cooking, and we ordered so much. We ordered the uni, the toro set, and also we did the uni tasting plate as well. The uni tasting was numbered one to five. I'd have to say my favorite is probably two, three, four, and I think five was just weird for me. But everything tastes amazing. They have salt and shoyu for you to try, and we also ordered some sashimi, sushi, and a bowl just to eat together. And all in all, the uni was fresh, but everything was so different. I've never had uni like. Just purely the uni, but still, I really enjoy number two, three, and four. If you have a chance to try this, it is so good and it is a very new experience. Plus, the price is so great. I would say it is expensive, but it is so worth it for uni. It is a lot cheaper than wherever you will find uni. 